Okay. All right, Terry. Uh, it's New Year, new new series, I suppose. Uh, is, it, is it a new series? I think. Uh, yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> got any plans to re you know, vamp it up a bit, make it vamp it up, or something? Well, you know, uh, not vamp it up. I mean, like revamp it, make it better. And he says vamp it up. I know, but I, you know, don't pick put apart what I'm saying. Oh, no, you know. Are you still at the Prince Andrew? You were, yep, wait, the Prince Andrew, yeah, it's a raw knockout. Prince Andrew, he, he in the dressing room. He'd say, will you vamp it? And take photos, he'd say, don't stop taking photos, and Terry, stop taking the fucking photos. That's what he'd say, and he, just a picture of him and a nice girl. Don't know why he didn't want to vote with that, his arm around it, it's just very nice. Yeah, all right, Terry, um, that's... Concentrate on me. Okay. So, uh, what? How, how long till we start? Uh, a little bit of time till it starts, I guess. Take. You can look at your phone. Yes, I'm just coming through on the phone. Oh, it's about prostate health check. Oh, that's good. I'm just going to have a, a drink of beer. Mmm. Those bloody idiots, Terry. I think I haven't had a drink for three years. Yeah, they're fucking idiots, Richard. Is, you kept all that tense well. Yeah, delicious beer. Mmm. It's magic beer as well, because you can't see through it. Uh, all right, give us a countdown when it's ready to go. Yeah, okay, you didn't really, I don't say the last couple of words. Yeah, I know you don't say the last couple of words. Just say the last couple of words, I won't say those. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's go. All right, it started start at 10. Yeah, nine. nine yeah. Oh, you started, yeah. Eight, seven, six, five. You get it. I get it. I know how it works. Four, three. What's happened? Why have you stopped? Are we on? Hello, welcome to uh, 2024 Twitch and Fun, my fan friends. Hello, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the show. Um, I haven't really, uh, you know, I've looked at the news a little bit. It's not very funny uh, and I'm quite tired. <coughs> I've just been drinking uh, beer, non-alcoholic beer for anyone who was suspicious. And, uh, you know, just thought it'd be nice to uh, chat up, you know, get chat up. So, you know, I'm not going to be very good to meet up, chat. There's 44 people watching. You know, it's uh, it's a big deal. You know, I've been doing what? I've been in this for like three years, four years. It's four years coming up, isn't it? Since the, is it four years since the pandemic? It is four years since the pandemic. Oh, yeah, my, my producer just said in my head, you can't hear him. It is four years since the, the pandemic. Really? How's that happened? So I've been doing this for like, did I start doing this in 2020? I've been doing this for four years. Why are my glasses so dirty? I've only got tissue here, this is no good. What a palaver. They're still dirty. Well, I've got anything to wash them with. Oh, I could use um, birthday donkey. I haven't got any unguent here to spray on it. So yeah, I don't know what this is. This is just gonna be me uh, witching on about the news. And there's some big news. Not getting interrupted this week, week by my children. Seemingly the, the ghost child. Um, people asking in the chat room about uh, confirmed guests for the tour. If the, the, if it's not there and if it's not in the Badron Plus area, I don't know who it is either. So, you know, anyone that we've got. I'm waiting on a few replies. Have to patiently wait. I just waited one for Colchester for three months and the person can't do it. So now I'll find another person for Colchester. That's how it works. It's a pain in the fucking ass. Stop fucking badgering me, you little ungrateful pricks. Uh, thanks for your interest. Do come and see the show. Uh, the Dublin one has sold a lot of tickets, but it's, there's still loads of tickets left because it's a big. It's the biggest selling one of the tour. It's superseded Birmingham already, but uh, there's still about uh, 700 tickets left. It's massive massive room um yeah no that's a no fuzzy dunlop i don't have a second guest for uh dublin yet but it should be a fun gig <clears throat> and <clears throat> just ate some nuts before. never eat if you're going to do a ventriloquist show a little tip for you don't eat peanuts just before you uh come on i don't know who philip serrell is uh, and also i'm not doing worcester so you know thanks john pardo for your useless information uh <clears throat> Um, yeah, I'm doing Worcester. I'm doing a stand-up show in Worcester, but that's I don't need other people for that, John Pardo. So don't fucking 
come at me in the guest room. That's two of you fucking coming at me when I've said I'm not in a, a good mood and telling me but like that you know what I'm doing better than I do. You don't you don't know better than me, John Pardo. You don't know nothing about you can apologise all you like, you can fuck off all you like. You don't know better than me. So just keep it zip, zipped up and let me get on with my own whatever. Uh, why can't I send a guest the squeeze soup? You're not fucking listening to what I just said. I can make this just me in the chat room, which will be annoying for people watching on YouTube who can't see the chat room. Um, I've got one guest for the Warwick Arts Centre. It's Lindsay Suntaro, who won the Bet New Newcomer Award at Edinburgh last year. Uh, and I haven't yet got the other one. Well, I've got someone penciled, but again, they haven't confirmed. I got them penciled about six months ago, and uh, they're not answering their DMs at the moment. So I don't, I can't tell you. Fucking load of pricks. Anyway, uh, we'll do the show. I hate, I hate all of the people who like me. I hate, I hate all of them. Um, <clears throat> what's wrong with you? Why would you like me? I'm not a decent, proper comedian who doesn't broadcast from his attic. Hey, what's wrong with you? You, de you deliberately just like, you think, oh, if 76 of us follow him, then he'll have to carry on doing it. And then everyone else can get on with watching proper comedians for money. Fucking, I don't, can't tell the difference between Rahul Estabur and can I have my ball back? That's the kind of idiot who watches this feed absolute shower of shit um tell us when we're on uh when you uh terry i'm just venting yeah i'll tell you when you're on um anyway uh big news the big news we're going to look at was uh rwanda uh R richard sunak has uh has won the old uh richie sunak he's what he's won the vote yeah but troubles remain for rwanda asylum scheme because you know what the fuck is going on with this country you would think people were rebelling against the scheme to send immigrants, illegal immigrants, to Rwanda based on it being immoral. They're rebelling against it not being immoral enough. And no one, I mean, yeah, some of the opposition are saying this isn't good. But, like, what? what's wrong with this? Why are we allowing this to go on? Why are we allowing p people to do these horrible things in the name of our country, our great country, who's welcomed immigrants, who's at least not fucking sent them on a plane to foreign country where they won't be safe they've come across miles of ocean and land and risk death they're not going to be put off by the chance that they might get put on a train plane to on a train to rwanda wouldn't be any good um absolutely can't believe what's happening to the world can't believe what's happened to our country i shouldn't have done the puppet show tonight show i'm not in there this is not i'm not in the right mood got dirty glasses you know, the people in the chat room saying idiots vote Tory. You're the fucking idiots. You're watching this. So uh, if one, someone's running 60 computers to boost viewing numbers. So thank you for that. Um, Richard E. Grant is not going to be on. Is someone saying Richard E. Grant? If that's it, anything. Uh, anyway, so, you know, there's that. That's been going on. Uh Lee Anderson is uh, was going to vote no. I couldn't see how I could support the bill. I got to the no lobby. The Labour lot were laughing and giggling. I couldn't vote no. I wanted to vote no. There's no way I could support them above the pike that's given me a political home. I'm gutted. What an absolute... That's the kind of prick that is behind this Rwanda thing. He doesn't think the Rwanda thing goes far enough and he's voted for it because he said... Well, he doesn't want to lose face, so he's pretending he voted for it because people were laughing at him, which is worse than just saying I voted for it because they told me if we didn't vote for it we'd have to do an election and we'd lose our, we'd lose our seats, which he, he will do, I hope. I hope they all lose their seats. Uh, I mean, not in, not just the Tories, to be honest. Ah. Oh. Anyway, get, get me out of the box. I don't want to let you out of the box. I've, I'm, on a, I'm on my own soapbox here. Get off the soapbox. Yeah, that's good. Come on then, people. Want Happy New Year. Is it new? Is it too late to say Happy New Year? It's me, Ali. Don't worry, the sun's that kid's horrible and then it's gone. It's just me now. I'm cheeky knee. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm linking at it. Come on then. Good winking. Sit on it, Dada. Sit on it. Did you? I, I can't remember who sent me this and I can't find I was just looking for it before I came on. Um, someone sent me a, a clip from the Metro. About Ronnie O'Sullivan, uh, it's, a, it's a, one of the 
renegade two-player snooker player, so I don't really like him. But he's won a competition, a meaningless competition, against another man who he doesn't like. And I can't even find the proper clip. But in that circle bit, uh, he says that Carter... Carter from the Sweeney, yeah, or was it Carter from the American government? It could be, I don't know, it's the other player was called Carter. Uh, he said he could sit on it. He said <laughs> he could sit on it. Sit on it, Carter. Sit on it. Sit on it, Carter. Sit on it, Dada. Sit on it, Carter. Sit on it, Dada Castle. No, don't they sit on it, Barbara Castle. She was a respected politician from the good old days. Well, politicians were amazing, like Barbara Castle and Margaret Thatcher, good, people you could trust. Sit on it, Carter. Sit on it. Um, so he's obviously, uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan's a fan. I mean, I'm sure he watches the one-player snooker, envious of me being the world champion every single time at one-player, self-playing snooker. Um, but apparently he watches you as well. Well, he could have nicked it from Happy Days like I did. Do you nick it from Happy Days? Yeah, I nick all my catchphrases, Richard. Hello, rap fans. Did you nick them all? Yeah. Mm. Oh, dear, what a city near the nine. Yeah, I nick, oh, dear, what a shame near the nine. I can't remember what he said. Um, uh, uh, oh, we're still on. Yeah, they're still going. Uh, so there's that. So I thought I'd, I thought I'd share. Sit on it. Sit on it, Dadra. How is Dadra? Did you see Dadra? Who's uh, who's how's who's, how's Dadra? Uh, Barbara, my wife, my your wife. Oh, what a slit! What a Freudian slit! Clit! Oh shit! Um. Hey, um, my mother, you called her your wife. I, well, maybe one day. I hoped when I was a child that she would marry, but she never married me. My, Barbara, my mother, I did see at Christmas. She's very well, thank you. She's still, uh, she's 86 years young, but uh, just, uh, she's young to me. Um, and uh, uh, she said, she's, you know, for an 86-year-old woman, you wouldn't say, if you were, you know, you wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't, you wouldn't say no. I have to say if you were looking for an 86-year-old woman, and she's in good form. My dad's 87. He's not in quite good form, but he's still going. Any uh, Kings of Wessex ex-pupils out there amongst the 87 of you, it's possible. <sighs> Dear me. Um, people trying to preempt what I'll be talking about later on and correctly guessing what, what that will be uh, in the chat room. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's well look. Let's get on to. Um, there's a lot of royal news. Uh, I don't like if the, some of it involves Prince Andrew. I don't have um, the Prince Andrew puppet. He's gone into hiding. Um, I don't know if he got the news came out that Prince Andrew had used the puppet to touch other people. Now is it the same puppet? I don't know. But my Prince Andrew puppet has still not returned to me. Was sent back to the manufacturer for repairs uh, and uh, has not yet returned. Uh, which is probably for the best, but we might we might talk about him later. Oh, I'm so tired. Why did I agree to this? I'm so tired. We don't have to do long, Richard. I oh, know we don't have to do long. I just thought it'd be nice to say hello. It's nearly the end of January. I was on. I was skiing, and then uh, I don't know where I was last week. I was doing something last week. I'm like, yeah, you're doing something. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Um, should I have a look at my diary? Yeah, why not? You know, you're wasting people's time. Why not waste it a bit more? Yeah, I'll have a look to see what I was doing last week that I couldn't do this. It was the 11th, was it? Um, nothing in the diary. Was it just you were tired? I think it was just that I was... Oh, that's right, I did start... I actually picked out some new stories and then just realised I was too knackered. I've been a bit ill. I think I'm better. Um, but even last week, I just... Uh, I, I just was still very tired. Christmas is just... And then having a holiday. I went at Christmas, we went to Cheddar, then we went to France. And we didn't stop. And... Um, I'm feeling every one of my 56 years. 56 years old, are you? 56 and a half I am now. Anyway, let's have a look at the quickly of the Royal News. We'll see how where we get to. Um, this is the big Royal News. Uh, the late Queen was upset about Lilibet. Uh, if someone pitched my nickname, I'd be appalled. Someone, uh, say, if someone pitched your nickname, you'd be appalled. So this is the story. That's from that's a think piece from The Independent. This is the actual quote. Uh, insiders reveal how the Queen was upset by Harry and Meghan's Lilibet decision that she did so they called their daughter they nicknamed their daughter or did they actually call her Lilibet uh she told A's the only thing I own is my name and now they've taken that I mean I don't think she did say that because I think the queen has more self-aware oh well had more self but she's dead and good she's barely cold in the grave Richard well it's only because they warm her grave up to keep her nice and cozy it costs a million pounds a year um she does, she's got more self-awareness to say the only thing I have is my name. A, you know, nobody owns names. 
Uh, certainly Lilibet. There's other Lilibets. There's certainly other Elizabeth. Uh, there's a clue, Elizabeth II. Um, I think any grandmother would be happy that they, their granddaughter, grandchild, great-grandchild um, had uh, been given their name, even as a nickname. Uh, but even if she's, if she's upset, she, do, she doesn't just have that name. She had a lot. She had a, a hat made of jewels for a start. Uh, and she had uh, like about 20 big castles. She owns half of England. Um, she had a lot of stuff. So uh, get over yourselves. Uh, the, uh, but the royal family are trying to look like normal people. Uh, the, uh, they're, they're trying to get uh, operations like normal people. Kate's uh, had uh, something wrong with her insides. I didn't have her pegged for get, having anything going wrong up there. But um, she, yeah, it's, I don't think she involves in that. And I don't think she does. I think that's the point, isn't it? Yeah, and it's, uh, it's him who likes to be pegged. Yes, and uh, he, he likes other people to do it. Um, and I don't, think, I don't think it's that part of her anatomy that's in trouble anyway. So, well, you know, so, you know that's lifeless. Good. God, Swede, you, let's pray you're okay, Queen Kate. Um, Prince Charles trying to copy me. He's got an uh, enlarged prostate. I had an enlarged ball. Um, but uh, let's pray they're both okay, shall we? I think they'll both be all right. They're, you know, they're pretty well looked after. Um, and uh, the thing that I thought was interesting about this, though, was that uh, they're trying to pretend how old. Prince William is set to juggle childcare and caring for Kate Middleton following her planned abdominal surgery. Uh, the Prince of Wales is set to have a busy couple of months looking after the children and caring for his wife. Uh, that's an actual journalist has written that. I mean, what? how stupid do they think we are? Um, I don't think Prince William cares much about his wife anymore. Uh, I don't think he does much actual childcare. I feel, even if he does a bit, I think there'll be people to pick up the slack uh, left behind <laughs> by Kate being in hospital. Um, you know, but, you know, if he gets, if he just pulls his finger out of his ass. He'll be able to. He'll be able to do it, won't he? He'll be able to look after his own children. That's what you have to. Do. That's why this show is bad tempered and awful. Because I'm too tired after looking after my own children, <laughs> and they can't complain about it because it's my own fault for spunking up inside a lady. So you know, just think about that next time you spunk up inside a lady, or if you're a lady, you get you get spunked up inside. Think about that. That's the commitment you're making. If the person who did the spunking or the person you spunked into gets ill, you have to look after the kids on your own. To be fair, so far it's mainly been me that's ill, my wife having to pick up the slack, but, you know, kind of hoping I get a bit more cancer so I can have a couple of weeks off and have a nice rest. But it was one of the happiest times of my life, I have to say. All right, shut up. No, oh, I heard a little squeak. We may be in trouble. <laughs> I had a little laugh. Um, we well, hope you weren't listening to any of that, Victorian Ghost Child. Listen to what? Good. What? I was saying rude things. I didn't, you were here. Um, you've got something to say? Oh God, she's doing a scary voice. Have you got your mask on again? Yeah. Oh God. You're coming in very late. It's twenty past eight. Yeah. What have you been doing? Lego. No, Lego. That's not a very Victorian ghost child thing to do. Here's the Victorian ghost child. Oh my god, you can tell she's a ghost because you can see through her. How he, <laughs> you're celebrating the year 2023 still? That's how, so that's what a ghost you are. Um, how have things been? <laughs> oh, you've suddenly quite. Hello there, young child. Ah, oh, oh, I love a little child neat than my dinner. Thank you very much. Um, you alright? Yeah. I'm don't right. do that. I'm trying to do a proper TV show here, and don't, people don't come in and flick, you know, Trevor McDonald in the head, do they? I mean, a bit, he's not on TV anymore. They don't come and uh, flick Hugh Edwards in the face. Actually, he's not on TV anymore. I don't really watch TV. Who's on TV, Phoebs? Who do you like? On, I mean, sorry, Victorian Ghost Child. Who do you like on TV? Andrew Style. <laughs> Andrew Style. Uh oh, Andrew Style. I don't know what that means. Even uh, do I. Uh, I don't know what he means. Uh, they're terrified by you. Uh, they're saying hello to the scary ghost. 
Have you got anything? Have you got anything? Is it just you're just going to come in and stand here and look scary? It is quite effective, I have to say. And I quite like it. It's quite low key. Hello, Fluffy Rabbit. Fluffy Rabbit had a bit of an operation today. It had a bit of a hole in the neck. It's been sewed up. It's been sewed up a lot. Have you had this since you were, have you had this since you were a baby? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's nice, you know, it's nice to have a bit of it. I've had this, This we've had this uh, puppet, oh, not a thuffet, uh, since uh, in 1892, so, you know, it's nice to have that. Maybe this will be passed down, I mean, the Victorian ghost child, maybe this will be pa passed down in the, the family. You've been, I've never seen you so quiet. Are you shy? Are you just tired? Have you been playing too much Switch? We're on Twitch now. You can come play Switch on Twitch, probably. Oh, my God, are you taking your eye out? Yeah. Ah. Well, you know, if you've got nothing to say, I've got things to do here. Ah! Um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nothing more scary than a hug from your dad slash... Terrifying. <laughs> well, that's good. All right, are you going to go to bed then? No. Too scared now, you hugged me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should go to. We're in the middle of doing our bit. You can't come in. And then what did what? I just do? Yeah, well, you can come in, but you shouldn't come in. It's bedtime. Can you go to bed, please? Is your brother okay? I don't know. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> you got hair on him. Just getting the hair off you. Look, this is weird. Go away. No. <laughs> I can't carry over you standing there. You're in the way of my screen. <laughs> uh, well, it's all falling apart anyway, Phoebs. Uh, Hoop says, what's it like have to have a famous mum and dad? I don't know why they're asking you. I have no one who is famous. He's made of poop. <laughs> Your mum's written eight books. I've written four books. Okay. Where are they? They haven't been published. Okay, yeah. And they're three pages long. Yeah, they're still pretty good. <sighs> good. All right. Prince William juggled childcare and caring for Kate Middleton following her plan to abandon my mum, mum, surgery. <laughs> Do you want to have another go at the abandon mum, 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 mum? What do you think that says? Abdominal. Oh, that's closer. Abdominal. Yeah, abdominal. 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 So you just got to spell it out. Look, we could do. This is good. This is me doing my fatherly duty. We're learning how to read. Abdominal. You just have to spell each bit out. I think that's fine. Uh, his wife's in hospital. Remember when I was in hospital? How sad you were. Happy. <laughs> do you remember, uh, like, when you were about four, you looked at me and went. You've got 14 months to live. Do you remember that? Yeah. You were incorrect. I've lived longer than... Well, you were right. I did live for 14 months. But I carried on living after that 14 months. I made 14 years. Oh, well, that's all right. I'll take 14 years. Minus so that means 10. Minus 10? Oh, that's probably you it. Because there's more years to live. Oh, no. I'm not sure about your, produ your predictions. You're no Sybil, that's for sure. Right, bedtime. Let's go. I'm going to put the technical difficulty. I'll go really quickly. And you're being... You know, you're not being your usual self. You're, you're being really quickly. <laughs> right, technical difficulties coming on now. Bye. Bye. That was the Victorian ghost child there in a slightly uh, strange state of mind. Go to bed. Um, but uh, she's a good girl, in spite of it all. Um, right, let's see what else we've got. Well, we'll talk about uh, Andrew. He's not here to defend himself. Uh, Prince Andrew's biggest regret: failure to denounce the fake foot photo. Is it not having sex with underage girls? Is that not his biggest regret? I don't think he does regret it. That's uh, that's uh, even now. I don't think he regrets that bit. I think he regrets uh, being called out for possibly. I mean, do we? Have, yeah, I mean, let's say for possibly being what he says. This uh, this photo, he doesn't remember it being taken. He thinks it's doctored. Um, but you know, if he, if you think that photo is doctored, wh why give the girl twelve million pounds? Give a photo expert fifty thousand pounds to really examine it and find out if it's real or not. Because that 
you don't need to give away twelve million pounds uh, if that's the minute you prove that's false, then pretty much everything flies out the window. Um, yeah, that's the main evidence we've got, and if it's falsified, then that sort of implies that the whole thing is built on a tissue of lies. So that would be where I'd put. I'd have just put a little bit of my money into having that investigated. If you could prove it, just find the original photo of you. Um, but uh, yeah, he's it's he's back in trouble, isn't he? Yes, I thought he was going to get rehabilitated. I thought we could bring back the Prince Andrew puppet and it would all be fine because he'd been rehabilitated. People forgive and forget. Uh, but unfortunately, more things have come out in the Epstein case, haven't they? It seems they have, Richard. Have you been mentioning that? I haven't been mentioning that, Richard. I was always very careful in my dealings with Jeffrey Epstein. Um, well, yes, and that I didn't ever have any dealings with him. That's the correct uh, way to. If you if you had, I wouldn't be able to work with you. I did once uh, try to wank you off, though, didn't I? You did. So you are you are a sex criminal. It wasn't really my fault. Um, well, you can you can. We don't know who's to blame. It's my word against yours. But, um, you know, I'm prepared to forgive and forget and move on. But uh, I don't think you're in a position to judge others. Judge not lest ye be judged, my friends. Um, I think it's still about, you know, he always says the wrong thing. Has he said this is his biggest regret? I mean, his biggest regret should be, you know, not being involved. I regret being involved with Jeffrey Epstein, the notorious uh, sex trafficker. That would be my biggest regret, not I regret not denouncing the fake photo. They apparently wanted to do that in the interview and his team told him not to say it was a fake. But it doesn't, I don't think it's a, well, it could be a fake, couldn't it? I mean, you know, the thing is, you could, I would just say, look, look how happy she is in the photo. She was happy to be there. That was me and her and it proves we were good friends. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know why I'm trying to help Prince Andrew out. You know, I feel an affinity with him after all this time because of, you know, the puppet. Right, what else have I got for you? Oh, there's lots of rude headlines today. Uh, Radagnaku's slam comeback ended by China's wang. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well done to the BBC for putting that on the... She lost a tennis match, uh, Radanuku. Um, but I like the idea of having a slam, a slam comeback sounds rude enough on its own. And a, and a slam comeback being ended by China's Wang. Nothing. No cocky cat. I would just I thought I'd give some cocky cat. I've got I've done a few cocky cat. I've got more. I've got more than that. Um someone mentioned I asked whether I would mention this story. The Met office warns the UK would be double fisted by deadly snow and ice. You have been dub double fisted? I don't think I've been double fisted. No, where does the second fist go? Uh, I guess you could do um I mean you'd have to really get in touch charge with uh, Prince William. I guess you could do one up the anal passage. Um, uh, and then, you know, if, if obviously for a lady, you could go in the front anal passage. Is that what you call it? Yes, I'm, an, I'm a romantic. The front anal passage and the back anal passage. That's what I, that's how I refer to them. Uh, as a, a gentleman, you could, someone could, I bet, could get their fist up the old uh, herring's eye. Yeah. What's the, what's the herring's eye? Well, it's my renaming of the aperture at the end of the penis. If you'd read Talking Cock, I haven't. You would know about that. Uh, back in your day, back in my day, it had uh, uh, a politically incorrect term that I've tried to uh, incorporate my own name into in a chance, in an attempt to overcome the racism of the previous generations, of some of which I guess I'm culpable in because I used to call it that as well. What was it? It looks more like a fish's mouth. I think it should be called the fish mouth, shouldn't it? It's like, it's like a little... Draw some eyes in. It could be a little fish swimming through the sea, couldn't it? But anyway, I reckon you get a fist up there, a fist up the back. Uh, and, uh, you know, if it's deadly snow and ice, put some gloves on. It's probably good to have protection anyway. If you're going to... I, well, I mean, no, I think the Metro again, I don't think they're stupid. I don't, none of these people are stupid. They know they get clicks. They know they get mentioned on Twitter that they do it. And now they've been mentioned on Twitch of fun in front of 86 people. It briefly went up to 100. Uh, Tommy Tinnan calls it a mouse's eye crying. Well, there you go. He's one of the guests in uh, Dublin. Is that not good enough for you? Um, someone saying they bloody couldn't get a fist up there. The camera was bad enough. You know, don't try and put a camera up your japs. Absolutely, you're at Herring's eye. Oh, you said it. I know. You still say it. I don't. Don't cancel me. 
That was an accident. I want to apologise. OK. Don't put a camera in your herring's eye, especially an old fashioned camera. Um, oh, Jaff Zaffa Cakes has, uh, I think, brought in some brought in some people, which has boosted our numbers to 162. Hello, Zaffa Cakes. I hope you're all right. He's a big fan of Ali's. I know. Uh, Zaffa Cakes, yeah. You, you played his dad. Oh, is that the young chap? Who I played his dad? Yeah, well, I wasn't in that uh, film, but uh, you went in. Yeah, they did. And you played his dad. And uh, Steve Martin was in it. That's right. It's very good. He's a talented young man. I advise you to go and see his stand-up comedy and uh, also to subscribe to his uh, Twitch stream. He does all sorts of shit on here. He just is carried on and on relentlessly. Some people gave up. Not him. <laughs> uh, and uh, give him his... Give him your, do they still do those Twitch bucks? Can you still put that money in? Give it to him. Go and subscribe to his channel. He's a good lad. Um, he's about 40. He, he might be about 40, but, you know, I'm 56. Uh, you, I, yeah, the other day I thought I was 46 for ages, and then I remembered I was 56. And I just don't like it. Yeah, I don't like being... How do you cope with being so old? Well, Richard, when you're immortal like I am, age is just a number. It doesn't really mean anything. But, uh, I, get, I don't grow any older. I like the thought tree to Darian Gray. And always the same, whereas you, just even if you compared yourself to the start of this four short years ago, well, I've got one bollock less, that's true. And uh, just you look at your horrible grey hair, thinning grey hair. I don't know if it is. It is, look, you can see clear skin in there. And uh, you're looking haggard. I just think, like, what I would like, yeah, is you live your life, if you get to 60 years old, if I was God, this or you get to sixty, then you get to go back to twenty for another forty years, and then you don't. When you get hit sixty again, you don't don't go back to twenty again. But you just learn. You get to sixty, and you go back to twenty, knowing everything you know at sixty, and then you can start again and have forty years again. Do you take your family with you in this journey? Do you, do you are you still twenty, or are you going back to university? What's happening? I don't know. I haven't thought it through that much. Um, I think. You take your family as far as you can go. You get to 60, then you're 20 again. They, you, you know, your wife's not going to want to be with a 20-year-old. Uh, really? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, and your kids will be confusing for your kids. So you just leave them and you start a new life. And then, you, then you, you know, you've learnt from the mistakes you've made. Obviously, you've seen with my daughter, it's an odd relationship we have. Um, so my next family, I will... I'll sort the, the the kinks will be sorted out and we'll make it work. So you know, I go at twenty, then all the mistakes. I won't be such an idiot as I was. Uh, enjoy myself properly, get through. You know, and then I, you know, maybe have a family in my thirties rather than my forties, fifties when I'm so old. So I'm so fifty six, fifty seven this year. Yeah, Peter Cook was fifty seven when he died. Arguably, he's done more for comedy than I have in those 57 years. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even do anything in the last 10 years, really, except drink and ring up talk shows and stuff and do some stuff with Chris Morris. 57 years old. So old. Yeah. It's time to stop, and it? It's time to give up. What do you think? No, I, I think you should carry on. Why? I think, you know, just, A, the less you like it, the funnier it'll be. And also, the older you are and the more angry and decrepit you are. The, the, certainly the funniest stuff like this will be yeah I guess got a message on your, on your watch yeah it's from my mother-in-law <laughs> that's nice was she saying stop saying you wish you were 20 don't think she was I don't think she watches the show um, anyway thank you for Zafka okay, so it's doubled the audience so this feels like uh, the heady days of being on BBC2 you used to get like 2 or 3 million viewers on BBC2 like if we got that now you know it wasn't very good at the time but that, if it was happening now that'd be one of the biggest stars in the country well you know you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's true. Um, it's not Barbara. It's uh, it's Pat, my mother-in-law, not my mother. My mother's my actual mother and wife, apparently, in my confused state. Um, good. Right. So there's that double fist, double thirds. Oh, and there's also, uh, I think, Ed Balls kicked Susanna, Susanna Reed in the head. I think, you know, there was. That was nearly perfect, wasn't it, for the headline writers? But it, someone needed to get kicked in the balls, really. Um, and, yeah, it all needs moving around a bit. But it, why can't you do something like that? 
in this, if you could kick me in the head, then that's what he's done. It seemed weird. He just lifted his legs up for no reason, kicked her in the head. He was dizzy for 20 minutes. We could get in the Metro and, you know, that could boost our ratings. Just kick me in the head, see what happens. Oh. I enjoyed that. <laughs> did you? Yeah. yeah I did. I'm not looking at it aside. I did enjoy it. Um, I was hitting it harder. Uh, we haven't done any songs or anything. We're just working our way back into this. Walking down the alley, I was getting rather tally with no not the hudder in the corner. She said she had a bone. If I would come back home, she had a bone. <laughs> and she stick it in my anus in the morning time, in the morning time. Um, I've got a few more, a little bit, I'll I tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'm going to leave you alone. We still haven't got a theme tune for this uh, puppet because, you know, we haven't used it for a while. But here she comes, Marina, Aqua Marina. It's uh, Sybil, sorry. Sybil, Aqua Sybil. She likes to say the future. We brought you back, Sybil. Hello, you're looking good. Yes, I've cleaned myself up for the new year. Lost a lot of the weird stuff on you. Yes, it's all gone, the weird paint. And you're beautiful. You're, you're beautiful underneath. Yes, I don't know why you are so scared of me. I see your heart. I see everything. The past, the future, alternate universes, everything. Um, I've just been reminded by Sarah Haverson. Do you have a son? Yes, she probably does. Um, that back in uh, early 2023 or late 2022 on episode 80 of this. We didn't do many episodes last year, did we? Because we're on. This is only 90 something. Um, we, you made some predictions, yeah. So we need to see if those predictions came true. There are a lot of them, so let's this will eat up some valuable time. Good, hello, here we go. Prediction one: there will be two prime ministers in 2023. I was right; there were two prime ministers in 2023. There were loads more than two. Well, I presumed you meant in the UK. I never said that. We only had one UK Prime Minister. Did we, Richard? Yeah. Richie Sunak's been the Prime Minister for all the check it. People are asking me to check it. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're going to include Prime Ministers from other countries, I guess there were two. You know, you did, I didn't specify. You didn't specify. Let's, uh, we're just going to check it. How many PMs? I've got a few emails coming in. Um, doesn't give an answer. I, I think one. I think that's wrong. I think you got that wrong. So I'm going to say wrong. Richard, here we go. There will be two monarchs in the UK in 2023. That's what you said. Yes. And you, and you did clarify. She didn't say Charles would die. Just that there will be two monarchs in the UK. Is that true? Shall we check it? How many monarchs? I think they might be true here because although there's only been one king, how many monarchs in the UK in 2023? It's going to take some time. Uh, is the 13th monarch and the 62nd king of England? No, is the United Kingdom's 13th monarch? Uh, this is the first British coronation. There was a coronation and old Camilla became the queen, didn't she? She was the queen consort and then she became the queen. I'm going to give you it. You didn't say the, the Charles would die. Richard, number three, Paddy McGuinness will find new love. Paddy McGuinness is doing a new stand-up tour. So that could be it. Uh, let's see if Paddy McGuinness is, has found love. Is Paddy McGuinness in a relationship. Paddy McGuinness of Spark Room is involved in a new romance after sharing a cryptic post on social media. The pre presenter who separated from his ex-wife Christine in July 2020 after 11 years of marriage has reportedly dipped his toe into the pool of dating. It's the sun. It comes from... I'm sure he has. I'm sure he was he's dipped more than his toe in there. This is the 24th of December 2023. It came in just in time. Uh, and is 
Took an Instagram poster of his and hers, two cups of tea, fueling rumours of a new romance. Um, but we don't know who it is. Uh, but it looks like you are bang on. Paddy McGuinness has found new love and he's had a cup of tea with him. Christine McGuinness and Chelsea Grimes were wed. I don't remember who Chelsea Grimes was. That's how long it did go. Uh, let's put, is Christine McGuinness... The wife. Well, I don't know. It's, we used to uh, married to Chelsea Grimes. I've got to then write who is cried Chelsea. Mystery is best friends Christine McGuinness and Chelsea Grimes. What? Unfollow each other. Chelsea Grimes is a woman. Oh, this is very forward-looking. So, mystery appears to be surrounding Christine McGuinness and Chelsea Grimes as once best friends are no longer following each other, with Christine already appearing to have moved on. The pals often shared photos with one another online and seemed inseparable at one point. How did I? I don't even know who this woman is. How did I? Well, how did I predict? Well, it was me. I know, but that's spooky that you know stuff that I don't. They went away together. Their friendship was a constant source of content online, but now the pals have unfollowed each other. Neither Christine nor Chelsea have ties to each other online currently. Well, something happened there, so I'm going to give you a tick there. Number five, David Attenborough will die. That has to come true. I don't think it did. The people are saying, check it in the, in the room. Um, is David... I mean, I think, you know, good job we've got this one out. I think there was a, a story today that, that in... Uh, Pop bitch that uh, his the news of his death had been announced, but uh, does David Attenborough still uh, live? He resides in Richmond, which is his favourite place on earth. Uh, why is David Attenborough dead? Trending in October 2023. So you said David Attenborough will die on the 11th of October 23. It was said David Attenborough. Uh, much loved expert as fans of the world in the recent death hoax claims circulate the beloved figure uh, had passed away. It soon revealed it was only an internet rumour. It still counts. You saw the future. Uh, number six, you said Russell Brand will die. Um, and apparently I said hopefully uh, because I knew some things back then that I didn't know when I interviewed him here on Rahala Um it, Did Russell Brand die? I mean, you know, again, I think we're going to have to give it to you because his, I would say his career is dead, but he made £700,000. And someone's put up his, uh, his career did. No, I don't think he did. He's, he, he's making more money. Uh, on 3rd of November 2023, a law, lawsuit was filed against Brand under New York's Adult Survivors Act, which allowed victims of sexual offences a period of one year to get back and uh, get him act to kill by celebrity death hoax Russell Brand. There was a hoax about him in, in January 2024, so that wouldn't have really counted. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give it to you because, you know, certainly his th there was a trauma to his soul that uh, had been a long time coming. Uh, and uh, that was good. There will be an assassination of a world figure. Were any world figures assassinated in 2023? Let's check it. Oh, this is filling up a nice lot of time. Well done. I mean, you know, we could just stop. <laughs> Assassinated politicians, 2023. Uh, there's, well, that's all of them ever. Let's see if there's any in 2023 on the list. There's 1 to 13. That's 143. Let's get through to 20, oh, 2023. And I think who you were referring to is Fernando Villa Vincelio. The presidential candidate in Ecuador who was assassinated in 2023. So well done for that. You got that correct. Um, you said women will die at the hands of men. Yeah, not even going to check that one. Uh, there will be a school shooting in America. Was there a school shooting in America? Uh, the, the former PM of Japan was killed in 2022, according to this uh, Ian Amazon. So get with it. Uh, school shootings... In 2023, were there any, fingers crossed, um, a list of mass shootings in the United States in 2023? Hopefully there'll be some. 
Uh, there's no school so far. Ma and Mal. There's, there's, oh, we're only on December the 24th. There probably weren't any school shootings in December. Um, I'm going to say... A man who applied to be a professor at um, UNLV opened fire on campus, killing three people. Yes! There's one. Um, I mean, it's a university rather than a school. Let's see if a school comes up in November. Ah, we're in, already in November. Oh, there's a lot of shootings. Um, I mean, this is just America. There might have been one somewhere else. I mean, imagine if there wasn't one. A flea market, if there's a flea market, a child was killed at a flea market, but that you didn't say that. <laughs> what has my life become? Uh, Halloween party, birthday party, lots of kids dying, lots of kids dying. Campus at Georgia State University. I mean, it wasn't that, that horrible sh shooting this year, was that this year? Oh, God. Um... Why did you predict this? This is a horrible thing to make me go through all of this and realise how awful the world is. Um, we're in October. I haven't seen the school yet. <sighs> ah, so your head's going to come off. Uh, you know, there's a good two minutes of me scrolling through an internet site looking for dead children. <laughs> um... I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that happened. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, Piers Morgan will be sacked. Um, let's see. Has he been sacked from anything in 23? A judge in a 2023 case against Mirror Newspapers said something. Let's have a look at his life in 2023. Television, career, Donald Trump. Megan, there's a lot on that off gun complaints. Um, you got COVID in 2021. The judge in the 2023 court case against Mirror Group found truthful evidence that Morgan knew about the private phone hacking. Gonna count it. England will win the World Cup. That didn't happen. There's very little coming up for Richard Herring. That is true. So, I mean, that's a very good hit rate. I'm, I think I've given you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of twelve there. So, congratulations uh, on your predicting abilities. Thank you. Then, uh, should, should we do some more for 2024? No, no, good idea. Don't make me go through that again. Uh, right. Well, we've all had a lot of fun. Um, we're just trying to remember how this... Oh, yes, your hair's up. Is it stuck? I think your thing got stuck there. Yeah. Hello, boy girls and uh, boys and girls. It's me. Uh, the other thing I had was um, Kanye West has, uh, has shocked his fans as he's got his teeth replaced with a bizarre 670,000 titanium grill. They're comparing it to Jaws in uh, James Bond for older viewers, which I'm presuming all of you are. Um, and uh, it looks like, just on the picture, it looks a bit like someone's just put some tin foil in his mouth, which I'd hate the idea of that because it makes my teeth go weird. But uh, would you uh, would you get false teeth? But would you have your he had his teeth removed to put titanium in? Would you have your teeth removed to put titanium in? Would I have no false teeth? That it, yeah. No, Richard. I'm the uh, you're burping a little bit. Uh, I'm the dentist, darling. Uh, my teeth aren't real. I do not want to replace them. Um, weird, don't it? Yeah, he's nuts. Has <laughs> no one told you? Uh, he's a horrible man. <laughs> and uh, he's got 670,000 teeth. Some people are going to like that. I mean, you know, I imagine it's good for chewing. I, I kind of like the idea. The top looks like it's just a solid row. And I would quite like... What I would like is just... I don't want them made out of titanium. They could be made out of tooth enamel, but just like where a continuous row with no gaps in between, I think that would be better, wouldn't I? don't really see the the point in having separate teeth, just like, and then nothing gets stuck between them. You don't have to do all that stuff. I hate having going to the... I've got a new uh, hygienist who keep, wants to see me all the time and then really fucking goes at my teeth because I drink coffee, so we've got to clean them. 
just imagine you just had a big row of teeth and there was nothing in between, just and then just a brush that went along on just at night time, one at the front, one at the back. Naturally, that would be good. Just you no, know, no gaps. Why the gaps? It's like nature wants some of them to fall out. If it was just one big one, it would never fall out. And, you know, it's like saying, oh, well, we'll do separate ones. So if one falls out, you can still chew stuff. But why do that? Just do a big, bold thing like this. A can he OS on something? I think he's a good guy. Um, I think that's it. I think I've done everything. Well, we can leave it there. We can leave it there. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, if you did. Uh, you wouldn't have to floss here in Amazon. That's my whole point. I don't want to floss. You could floss at the very end. Uh, you wouldn't get an abscess because there'd be no nothing could get into your teeth, could it? Because it's all one. Why not? And no gums, just like solid bone, solid bone. <laughs> it won't fall out because it's one big tooth. It's really stuck in there. They fall out because they're one little tooth and then you can get loose. But if it's one big one, it couldn't get loose. Um, if people want a song to cheer them, I don't I don't feel like it's a song. You know, I'm not, yeah, you've not been in the right mood for this today, haven't you, Rich? I mean, I think I have. I think this is a perfectly adequate mood to be in for this. But, uh, you know, I don't. Do you feel in the mood to sing a song? Have you got anything you want to sing about? Um, what time did the China then go to the dentist, Richard? It's not, it's not... Um, politically correct to do jokes like that anymore and also it's a Chinese person what time did the Chinese person go to the dentist not Chinaman um, you don't assume their gender first of all but also Chinaman is an offensive term ok I'm from the 19th century Give me the fucking Greek. what time did the Chinese person go to the dentist I don't know what time uh, whatever time they're appointed was Richard they're just the same as everyone else see it was a politically correct joke after all uh, can you sing a country and western song, Ali? I absolutely cannot. And that's much too hard to do at this time of the night. Um, you've done music hall. Um, if, you knew, if you knew how the BG song Massachusetts went, we could do Massachusetts now. It would be good because he's got a massive chew set, hasn't he? Massachusetts. I don't know how it goes, though. Do you know how it goes? I don't, I'm unaware of the song. Massachusetts. I'm trying to think of... Um, uh, songs with teeth in them. I mean, there can't be many. There aren't any tooth. They sung other. I got a blue toothbrush. I got a thick toothbrush, and uh, it doesn't really matter that the color of your toothbrush is the standard of the whistles you should be looking for. Don't really matter what color it is. Oh, toothy. <laughs> Um, right, well, look, we're going to go. We've had a great time, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, just cocky carrot. Just want to just just want to sh show you this again, cocky carrot. Radhanuku's slam comeback ended by China's Wang. No, I don't. Know. What are we paying them the big bucks for? I don't understand it. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. All I want for Christmas is an acid throw of teeth. One on the top, one underneath. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. That surprised me. Yeah, I know. I thought you were going to say on the bottom. And, then, and I'll take them out at night and stick them in the glass. And if you don't like it, I'll stick it up your ass. Oh, I want to let the Christmas is two nasty rows of teeth. Nothing in between them, so that we can't get detritus in them. I just want two nasty rows of teeth. Not made of nettle, made out of tooth enamel. Front if I getting lots of children's teeth and crushing them to a powder and then reconstructing them in a laboratory and then making them extremely hard. That's what I want for Christmas. It's a bit early because it's January. Good night. Um, good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We'll be back another time. We should have stopped when lockdown stops. You should have done it, but now you've considered yourself. Um, and 
They're having fun in the chat room. That's all the matters. Uh, thanks very much to my daughter, Phoebe Herring, who plays the Victorian ghost child. That's a little behind the scenes secret. Thank you, Terry, my producer. Thank you to Chris Evans, not that one. And thank you to you. I'm making you little Zaffa cakes. Uh, and thank you to you for tuning in. We'll see you again. Um, don't fucking talk to me in the chat room, though. Don't ever look at If you see me in real life, don't catch my eye. Got to look at the side. <sighs> Goodbye, everyone. I love you. <laughs>